Hi guys, welcome back to the 12 Battles of Christmas and today we have a very special guest, The Terminator, where we're going to be playing some online battles in DEI for Rome 2. Welcome The Terminator, we finally managed to get, uh, get a battle in there, we've been planning this for quite a while, um, so welcome. Thank you. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thanks for thanks for the invite. Looking forward to this. Yeah, this should be uh, really good fun. And we have a pretty heavyweight <laughs> heavyweight fight in uh, in the making here, don't we? Carthage versus Rome. So yeah, it'll be, should be really fun. Yeah, cool. So all ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. To yeah, go. let's go then. Let's uh, let's see who wins this Titanic battle in the desert. Now I am going to come down off the hill. As we've said, because hill's a bit OP up there. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Just yeah. a little bit. <laughs> it's cool. It's the first time I've seen a lot of these Carthaginian units. Yeah, they look amazing. Yeah. I mean, um, I only brought, I think, the mid-tier elephants, but the... Higher tier elephants. Elephants uh, are visually awesome. A lot yeah. of these, you know. I mean, DEI is interesting because it's slow and yeah. tactical, but they have done an insane amount of work on making univisuals just look make it look beautiful, really unique and yeah, yeah beautiful. Same with the Romans. I mean, you yeah. were saying earlier, the, the Roman uh, roster is massive. Yeah. It's actually insane. Like, going from, starting from Rome, expanding out, and then, you know, taking Carthage and getting access to some African yeah. uh, legions and etc. It's just really immersive and interesting. Yeah, I love uh, I love the look of these uh, cohorts, Batavor, uh, Batavorum. They're looking awesome. Yeah, they look really good. Tell me about the uh, 12 Battles of Christmas, then. So just doing 12, uh, like just 12 battles, like basically the 12 days of Christmas, but um, across different total war games, just different battles, just just for fun and um, different battle slash multiple battles every day on a different sort of total war slash mod, just to just to kind of showcase really like that you can still have a lot of fun in some of these older Total War games. Uh, you don't need to be playing Warhammer all the time. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, you can still have a lot of fun, and there's still a lot of fun. Even, like, the old games, like Medieval 2, Rome 1, obviously Rome Remastered now, but um, you can have insane amount of fun just playing th some of those old games without delving into the newer ones as well, just to kind of showcase that, and a lot of the mods that are still being worked on today for these older games. Um, just trying to showcase a bit of that, really. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, yeah, it's been fun. We've done, so, so far, while we're recording this, it might not be <laughs> when this is actually released, but while we're recording this, there's been a Rome 1 battle, uh, a Divide and Conquer battle, a Medieval 2 battle, and two Napoleon Total War Online battles, so. Oh, um, that's awesome. Yeah. Napoleon, uh, Napoleon's always uh, been a weird one for me, because the campaign I, I don't like at all, but the online I've always absolutely loved, so. Um, it's a weird one, but it's good fun. But I'm glad to be playing some DI here. I love the colours on the uh, Dorkim. I don't know how to say that at all. Dorkim Quidosim. <laughs> I'm just looking for them now. Oh yeah, the um, the late Phalanx Infantry. Yeah. Yeah, the shield designs are really cool. I wonder how that Q is pronounced in like Phoenician, like. Is it a Q yeah, or? Question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've, I've always, I've, whenever I like to make, I, I make a video or a live stream about a mod like this, where the the units are named or the the factions or even cities are named historically accurately. Yeah, I always butcher them, so it's always a, a matter of after <laughs> it's done, I go back and I'm like, oh, that's how you pronounce yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm exactly the same. <laughs> Uh, I had someone commented on my Seleucid campaign, like, says the Seleucids are his favorite nation but can't pronounce anything. I was like, oh, yeah, that's completely true. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely a titanic battle out here on the desert. Yeah, man. I'm always intimidated by Rome. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is uh, yeah. mostly late Rome, I think, as well, that I've got here. So this is actually... Yeah, is this... Uh, there we have. We've got the Legionaries and the uh, Cohors Batavorum. So in this universe, Carthage survived a lot longer than... Uh, yeah. ...was initially the, anticipated. Uh, the the last Punic War was like the 12th, I think. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the next one starting up right here. Yeah. 13th Punic War. On the way. Jupiter gives us strength. War elephant! Riders! Warriors ready! Now the, now the silence as we both uh, <laughs> if we I both know. get maneuvering. Try to, try to tactic our way into yeah. winning somehow. <laughs> yeah, one of our units one. has used all its yeah. One of my favorite things about DEI is um, actually how slow some of the siege battles can be. Yeah. It's, it's almost like um, like there there are like clear cheeses, you know, that you can use yeah. to um, to to win and, and Rome too especially but with DEI if you don't use them you can make it really interesting yeah yeah cool I, I do love a slow siege battle I think when a siege battle is fast it kind of just it almost feels fake if you know what I mean yeah um, yeah, yeah definitely I got that because like siege battles are not traditionally <laughs> fast <laughs> so like I, I love the, um, I love a slower sort of siege battle. Ah, the phalanx. Phalanx unit. What's been your uh, your favorite battle so far then in the uh, uh, battle? I. So, I liked the, um, sorry, I was concentrating, um, I liked the, the, uh, the Dak one was fun, obviously it wasn't an online battle, um, it was just against the AI, but I enjoyed doing the, uh, sort of intro for that and stuff, because it was basically, yeah. the scenario was, um, when Frodo and, and Samwise went to Mordor, they, uh, they lost the ring when the orcs found them. Rather, right. th rather than them escaping the orcs and then uh, getting through. Uh, so basically, Sauron's reforged and is coming back to destroy the world's, uh, the realms of men. So that was good fun to uh, to do. Um, okay, nice. And I, I'm, I'm a yeah, big, awesome. I, yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan. So it's always fun to do a bit of a alt sort of. A, oh, Ellie's versus Ellie's on the left flank. That's brutal. I know. <laughs> Had to try it. Yeah, Ellie's versus Ellie's charge. That is excellent. Um, yeah, so I, I do I do enjoy writing a bit a bit of alt history for <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Um, nice. But yeah, it's, uh, but the 1100 AD ones been, were were great as well. And then well, there was also um, the Napoleon Total War online is always uh, quite fun as well. Our men flee the field of battle. Yeah, definitely. This is a shameful display. Jupiter gives us strength. Um, but yeah. Normally, so like I normally when I play on Napoleon, I play with um, a guy who's called Carl von Clausewitz, and he's unreal on Napoleon. Um, so I normally play with him, uh, or play against him and lose. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, I feel um, like that's how most Napoleon games go for me as well. <laughs> Very, against the seasoned Napoleon player, it's, it's, it's a tough game to try and get. Yeah. The tactics they use is just... The one thing that I do do like about it is, like, similar sim to, similar to this, you can kind of engage and then, un, like, and then uh, get away and then re-engage and then, do you, know, do you know what I mean? It's it's a bit yeah, slower. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 100%. It's, it's a lot more like... Um, 
like you actually retreat in games like Napoleon and yeah. Empire. You have to pull your units back. Yeah, and especially online. Form and yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. I was playing. Um, there's a fantastic mod for Napoleon called um, Field Command Napoleon. Oh, cool! I've not seen that. And um, I, I'm, I'm a, I mean, I'm a big fan of uh, Napoleon Total War Three, obviously. But, yeah. Uh, this one came to my attention. They reached out to me, and it's just insane, dude! Like you can get, <laughs> to, you can get up to forty units. Oh, class! In an army, and yeah. when you're playing three v three, it's just you're, yeah, it's 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 you're you're going from like three front battles, um, yeah, in which you need to coordinate attacks together yeah. and <laughs> just brutal totally brutal yeah I, I, I do really want to play uh ntw3 as well but um it seems like it's one of those where you kind of need someone to, <laughs> to play with at the start if that makes sense because um, yeah, yeah, it's uh it's so it's so intense and uh like i wouldn't just jump into an online battle with someone because i'd just be i'd just be demolished um, yeah Ellie's versus Ellie's again in the center. Yeah. They can't stay away from each other. <laughs> oh, dude, these Roman legionaries. I yeah. think my general just retreated also. Oh, right. Which is not good. Well, it's a bit it's a bit of a cat and mouse at the minute. Your, um, so from your side, your left flank is destroying my right flank and my left flank's coming around your, your left flank. So it's a bit... Yeah. Yeah, 100%. It's which way or which way round? Is it going to flip? Let's get into. Uh, let's get in here. flee the field of battle. Ah, my center's crumbling now, though. Go on. I've got all my ranged guys trying to take your general. Yeah, down. I know. So, <laughs> so close. He's, he's 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 oh he's wavering. He was wavering just for a second then. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Oh, here's my general back. God. Wait, cavalry test judo. I did not know that was a thing. That's cool. Yeah, there's some really good formations. Yeah. You and DI as well. Ah, uh, my Ellies. They are going to get destroyed down here now. Get out. Get out, boys. Ah, General's gone. He's gone. Oh, he's gone. Coward. <laughs> yeah. Our men flee the field of battle. He was only this about half. When he started routing, he was only on half as well. Coward. Yeah. Morale in, uh, in DEI is pretty tough. Yeah. Pretty tough to manage. The last charge of my elephant said, come on. Oh, he's died now anyway. <laughs> Smashed dead. by an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it is, I always think that it's just crazy that they used to like... Ride elephants into battle like that is just bad. <laughs> yeah, it really is actually. Like, how scared would you be being like one of the opposition soldiers? Like, oh no, <laughs> please <laughs> don't let them come near us. The last charge of the elephants. Go on, boys. Oof. Oh, look at that charge. Yeah, they are brutal, aren't they? Amazing how much ranged damage they can just absorb. Yeah, I know. There's like hundreds of arrows going into them right now. Yeah. And they're not even um, armored, are they? They've got armor on their faces. But yeah, they've literally yeah. just got cloth on, the, on their back. Yeah. <laughs> That's some strong cloth. Yeah. <laughs> Oof, that was a charge and a half into my archers there. Absolutely demolished them. Uh, what are these spearmen? Flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Have the Ellie's gone yet? Yeah, they've gone finally. Oh, Shattered. Gone, yeah. Running away. Too many arrows. Too many arrows into them. <laughs> Cloth failed them today. One of our yeah. units has used all its ammunition. Oh, looks like the rest. Yeah, it's a route. Well How have these guys not died so much? Like that legionary scene in the middle, it was still on yeah. like ninety percent of its men. Mad. Yeah, Rome Roman legions are. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. 
Well, that was great fun. Yeah, that was really good fun. Yeah, really good. Let's uh, see the. Uh, I've just saved the, save the battle. Yeah, GG. Oh, you cool. Did well. GG. I mean, yeah, it was you, good. It was decent. You did um, well, definitely. I, I, I was, I was pretty worried about the front line. To be honest, I think. Um, yeah, I think, I think... Uh, some of your units could have definitely just hack and slash through that front line. I feel like. I think those. Yeah, I think your spearmen were just really, really good defensively. Like. The formations, like the uh, the phalanx guys on the ends, were really good. Um, yeah. But yeah, everyone doing pretty decently. Like uh, apart from one, one of my spearmen only did twenty. Um, one of yours. Oh yeah. I yeah. But everyone doing pretty well. I may not have used my second lot of cavalry very well, nineteen and fifteen. But um, but look <laughs> at those true. Ellie's hundred and eighty. That is great. One hundred and fifty yeah. for mine as well. That's so OP. Yeah, that's How many awesome. did your archers yeah, get? Really good. My archer, one of my archers got seven kills. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's oh. that's that's the. Uh, I like to use archers just against cav. So um, yeah, try to bait the cav in and then use archers and slingers to just soften them up. Yeah, I like what you were saying before. Like I, I was using them front on and then, and they did not work front on. <laughs> Everyone's yeah, blocking the on. arrows. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I hope uh, you've really enjoyed. Go to Terminator's channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like all his videos, all that sort of thing. And thank you very much for uh, joining me, Terminator, as well. It's been uh, excellent. Really good fun. Um, yeah, thank you, man. Thanks for the invite. I'll be watching the rest of your uh, your days of Christmas battles. Ah, thank you very much. And uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. And uh, we'll see you on the uh, next video.